You know, this is a very early lesson, meaning that this is one of the first things that you study when you're learning English. In all books, this lesson comes in the first, I don't know, ten lessons or something like that. But for some reason, saying de quienes in English causes a lot of problems for Spanish people. The correct word, first of all, is whose. W-H-O-S-E. Not who is quienes, no. Whose. Listen to the difference in these phrases. Who is he? ¿Quién es él? Whose is that? ¿De quién es ese? So the basic structure is the following. Whose plus the thing plus to be in some form plus this, that, or it. That's for singular or uncountable nouns. Whose dog is this? ¿De quién es este perro? Al usar este, quiere decir que el perro está más cerca del locutor. So remember the exactly this means near me, if mm -hmm. I'm speaking. Whose scarf is that? ¿De quién es esa bufanda? So the scarf is far from me, nearer to you. Mm -hmm. No, not necessarily. You could be standing next to me and I could say, whose scarf is that? Yeah. Ah, yeah, over there. Mm -hmm. Whose is that? ¿De quién es? All right, and we use this when it's clear what we're speaking about. All right, whose is that when we know what the that refers to? For plural, we use whose plus the plural thing plus these, those, or they. Whose books are these? ¿De quién son estos libros? Whose cups are those? ¿De quién son esas tazas? And whose are they? ¿De quién son? The thing in question goes immediately after whose. And here comes the common mistake. Students often say, whose is that dog? Mm -hmm. Or whose is the book? No, the correct structure is, whose book is this? Bueno, eh, cuando hablamos, cuando queremos decir de quién es en inglés, esto causa algunos problemas. La palabra que usamos es whose, W-H-O-S-E. Eh, no who is, sino whose, que es una palabra. Pues para preguntar quién es él, who is he, o de quién es ese, fijaros en la diferencia de quién, eh, whose is that. ¿Ok? Bueno, eh, la estructura básica es la siguiente. Se suele poner whose, luego la cosa a la que nos referimos, más el verbo to be, y this, that, o it, cuando hablamos de algo en, en singular. Eh, y cuando hablamos de algo en plural, whose, más la cosa en plural, y luego these, those, y they. Quedaría una frase, por ejemplo, Whose dog is this? ¿De quién es este perro? ¿Ok? O Whose books are these? ¿De quién son estos libros? To answer, we often use the possessive pronoun. So let's quickly review those. For example, we'd say, Whose letters are those? They are mine. So, míos, mine. mine. Suyos de él? His. Suyos de ella? Hers. Or suyo de ella. Mm -hmm. Suyo de ellos. Theirs. Nuestro. Ours. And tuyos and vuestros, or tuyo y vuestro. Yours. Right. Notice that except for mine, all of them end in S. His, hers, theirs, ours, yours. So don't confuse them with the possessive adjectives. Your book, her dog. Sandra. Yes. I can see some donuts on the table, and they look really good, but they are not mine. Whose donuts are they? Well, they're mine. Would you like one? Oh, yeah. During the next commercial break, <laughs> I'm going to eat one. Uh, I will not eat one on the air because nobody wants to hear me eat a donut while I <laughs> speak. Speaking of donuts, whose donuts are better? The ones from Bar Pepe or the ones from Bar Rafa? Oh, uh, the ones from Bar Pepe are better. All right. 
you, you, we talked about this. We've talked about this many times. That the three you insist that there the, that there is a fourth ubiquitous bar, yes. but bar Rafa, bar Manolo, bar Pepe, and you insist on La Oficina, but there, I, I've only seen one La Oficina in my life. There is a La Oficina everywhere, I, in every neighborhood I don't in agree. Madrid. I think there's a Bar La Oficina. I don't agree. Almost. Well, we'll see. Listeners, if you, if you agree, then write to us. All right, did us. you notice my question? The ones from Bar Rafa or the ones from Bar Pepe? How would you translate the ones? De los de Bar los Rafa de. o los de Bar Pepe. So how would you say el de Bar Rafa? Eh, you imagine we're talking about the traga perras, the slot machine. The one. The one. The uh, one from Bar Rafa. Exactly. Whose jacket is on top of mine? Eh, ¿De quién es la chaqueta encima de la mía? Well, it's mine. We're going to talk about a few people right now. All okay. Right? Jose, our uh-huh. engineer. Wave, Jose. Hi, Jose. Thank you. <laughs> uh, me, you, Sandra, uh-huh. and Svetlana. Okay. It's, uh, hi, Svetlana. <laughs> Yet. Mm. Does that mean no or yes? Uh, no. Oh. She doesn't speak much English. She, she thinks I want something. Oh, no. But I don't. <laughs> So we're here in the studio, me, you, Svetlana, and Jose. Mm-hmm. All right? So if we're talking about things, it would be mine, yours, his, and hers. Exactly. Whose broom is this? De quién es la escoba? Whose broom is this? Well, it's it's hers. Mm-hmm. Svetlana, is this your broom? <laughs> broom escoba. <laughs> it, yes, it is yours. <laughs> She has no idea what we're talking about. All right, whose microphone is that? Well, it's it's his. No, it's what's it's Jose's. It's his. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Ask me about the computer. Well, whose computer is this? Well, it's ours. Okay, mine and yours. Well, really, it's not ours. It's theirs. It's theirs. Suyo de los jefes. De That's la right. Emisora. It's theirs, actually. That's right. But for right now, it's ours. Okay. Uh, can I use it? it? Well, of course, but after I finish. No. <laughs> Whose papers are these? Well, they're yours, Colby. Oh, uh, yeah, they are mine. <laughs> All right. Whose vacuum is that? Uh, it's hers. Svetlana, please don't use the vacuum cleaner while we're on the air. And she was going to vacuum. I know. She's crazy. So, in Spanish, to vacuum, pasar la aspiradora. Mm-hmm. And we actually have a verb for that, to vacuum. Or in British English, they say to hoover. To hoover. Yeah, to hoover the carpet. <laughs> right. uh, whose headphones are these? Well, they're they're his. They're yeah. Jose's. Yeah. Yeah. These right here. I know they're they're yours. Ah, these are mine. Uh huh. And those? Uh, those are those are mine. Ah, those are okay. All right. Yeah, the the cords are a little uh, confused, tangled. mixed up. Yeah. All right. What about the pens? Whose pens are they? They're ours, Colby. They're ours. I gave you that one for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I just saw Harvey come into the station. Whose bottle opener is that? <laughs> I think it's it's his. It's his. It's not it's not yours. It's not mine. I don't bring a bottle opener to work. Mm-hmm. You know, traigo un abre botellas al trabajo. Oh. So All right. It's it's Harvey's definitely. Whose who's borscht is that in the kitchen? <laughs> well, you know Svetlana makes the best borscht, so it must be hers. Uh, it's hers. Okay. It's, it's not hers. yours. It's not mine. And it's not his. It's not his. Oh, I'm speaking about Jose here. It's, it's not his. It's not Jose's. I don't I don't know if Jose cooks much, but I don't think it's I don't think it's his. <laughs> All right. All okay. Right, very good. What about that big television right there? Well, that it's ours, right? It it's not ours, Colby. Well, whose is it? It's it's theirs. That's it's, theirs. It's from the, the station. The owners of the station. So we can't take it with us. No, we can't take it with us because it's not ours. We can't take it with us because it's very heavy, also. Also, oh, but you're be saying difficult. because it's not ours. Exactly. Right, so exactly. We have different trains of different schools of thought. There. <laughs> I have the honest school of thought. I'm from the ghetto. <laughs> exactly. So, no, we can't take it because it's not ours. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Yeah, in my neighborhood, it's very common to hear the conversation, wow, is that a Sony Trinitron? 
Yeah, yes. I, how much does that weigh? Oh, no. A typical conversation <laughs> in the neighborhood. Not how much does it cost. No. <laughs> All right, Sandra. Yes. If people out there listening would like more information about grammar, grammar lessons, or Pueblo and Glace in general, or they have comments, doubts, even constructive criticism with the emphasis on constructive <laughs> What can they do? Well, all they have to do for for the constructive criticism issues and questions, grammar questions, for example, it, they can write to us, to me and you, uh, at our at our email address, which is dudas a Colby c o l b y dudas a Colby at puebloingles dot com, and there they can ask us. Well, anything they want about something we've said on the program or a question that they've always had. You know, I received the other day a question from uh, one Antonio Jimenez, which we're going to take a look at today. Antonio Jimenez asked me a very good question, and we'll see if we can clear that up. Aclarar dudas a little later in the program. It was a very good question. I agree. And also, if you want more information about Pueblo Inglés and our programs that will solve your English problems, then you can look at our website, which is www.puebloingles.com. And on top of that, you can sign up, os podéis apuntar, eh, to receive two free grammar lessons every month in your inbox. Wow, free. Free, completely free. All right. So, That's a good deal. I think so.